I need to know, is there, like, any guys left that, like, believe in, like, opening the car door for a girl, you know, being there for her, supporting her, being loyal? Is there any guys that can be loyal anymore? Or any guys that just want the girl they are with and not multiple other girls? I need to know, is there any of y'all left? Because I cannot find them. Any Get the bear to open the door. <laughs> How many kids do you have? How many kids do I have? <laughs> no, wait, no kids? I have one child. I know oh, it, bro. No. Are, you, are you single? I'm single. You let him hit it up. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You know what? You're absolutely right because my child was planned, okay? <laughs> Now, I don't know how to put this without this sounding ugly. However, fellas, you cannot love a woman more than she loves you. If you give a woman all the power in a relationship and you are a purposeful man, a businessman, you handle things and you're a real leader, there is a high probability that woman is going to throw throw you off your game you can think that i'm lying but i see it happen all the time when you are a purposeful man to say you run into business and this woman has all this power you're gonna start losing and i don't mean that in an ugly way but if that woman has all the power i'm telling you she's gonna throw you off she will damage you emotionally because you're gonna be chase pleasing her emotions and now i i believe we need to be validated validate our emotions but i'm saying if you are chasing a woman's emotions which is how we're made biologically they never go away you are going to be running you're going down a rabbit hole and you'll never come back up so if you don't handle your business and and stand on some business as a man and and stay focused on what you need to focus on and let that woman love you as she was designed to do you're going to fall off you can be mad at me but i see it happen all the time you baby first of all you don't have to listen to me but what i'm telling you is i have watched great men love a woman so much and maybe i won't even say that this is in every instance maybe they're just loving the wrong woman but if you get caught up in trying to cater to our emotions too too much we can literally destroy you and i i watch i watch women do it some women do it attention intentionally some women do it unintentionally because they're not aware of their feelings and they don't have a lot of emotional intelligence or emotional control but if we as women don't understand that we have to get our emotions under control so so a man can handle his business if we have him constantly just chasing behind us all the time how does that man stay on his on his purpose the fact of the matter is you have to leave those type of women alone and get with someone who is emotionally intelligent or get her in therapy or something where she can learn to handle her emotions because you, you're just going to end up in a bad situation. She's absolutely right. Now for relationships to work out, the woman has to love the man and the man has to like her. I'll explain. Now when a man pedestalizes a woman, he makes her priority, he puts her first, something happens to them. They lose all interest and her viscous innards dry up. This is because women are wired differently and they are kind of backwards. So for a relationship to work out, a woman has to love a man and the man has to like her. The better that you treat her, the better she's going to treat you. That's only true if she likes you. Otherwise, the better you treat her, the more she's going to use you. Huh? Stay safe. A good amount of men are kind of expecting princess treatment now from women. I think the most optimum relationship dynamic is when the girl is simping for the guy. So, I mean, if she's doing all this shit for you, what's wrong with that? I mean, like, more so, like, being chased after... Sign like, me up. That's a better dynamic. The girl being like all up on the guy versus the guy being all up on the girl. Yeah, he's correct. When the asymmetrical commitment is in favor of the man, whereas the woman likes the man more, relationships tend to last longer because women are a lot more emotional. And when they experience stress or anxiety or whatever, they're much more <coughs> likely to leave the relationship. So if a woman likes a guy more, he has more margin for error. When the woman likes us, she's much more willing to put up with shit that she may not like that we do. And that's driven by data as well. It takes about two Two years to even pair bond to the point to where we want to be with each other long term where we come out of that stage of limerence most of the time when the woman likes the man more the relationship lasts longer than that but if the man likes the woman more the majority of the time the relationship fails tell a woman that she's beautiful and two days later she'll start making trouble out of the blue they will make trouble out of nothing at all remember there was a that band called air supply i think it was called 
making love out of nothing at all. This is making trouble out of nothing at all. And you'll think, where the hell did that come from? Because you are a romantic, and you told her that she's the most beautiful woman in the world. You set yourself up, bro. Don't make me say it again. Not every woman relies on a man to give them their self-value. I feel like women do mature earlier than men. I think the vast majority of men, their brain physically does not develop the same way a woman does as fast. Women do rely on a man to get the self-validation because y'all all wear makeup, right? I think society has a big play in it. Well, and that's where that comes from. The fact that women wear makeup, you got on heels, you dress nice, all of y'all are competing. Yeah. We do that for ourselves. You do that for yourself. We like to feel if, pretty. We like to feel beautiful. If you peel back the layer, you don't do it for yourself. The fact that y'all all wear makeup, peel back the layer, you're in competition with other girls for the highest tier men. That's why you post pictures on Instagram. Yeah, you, you're you not. If you are taking pictures and it's just for yourself, you will leave it in your phone. But you post it for the world and you do that because you want validation from other men. The root cause is validation from the top tier men. It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts! These facts are not facts! Say the weird thing. There's that old saying, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Meaning if you put something in his belly, he's happy. If you do that to a woman, you end up paying child support for 18 years. Whenever I have a kid, I want like 20 different guys to nut in a cup. Like 20 different races, 20 different guys. I want to You're gonna have the most exotic baby in the world. No, it's like who whoever comes the best wins. Ugh. Brother, ugh. what's that? What's that, brother? It's your man white. Yeah. See, that's your problem. <laughs> you, you you need a black man in your life. <laughs> She's not yours, it's just your turn. When's the last time you had Three months ago. Three months? Why has it been so long? I don't know, like none of these people are worthy enough. A few moments later. What's All your right. craziest confession? My mom was in the room right next to me, right? Okay. And there was five dudes at my house, okay? Okay. All of them, train. Jesus Christ. Five? Yeah, my mom didn't even care. Yeah, five dudes. That's what's up. That's <laughs> None of these people are worthy enough. She belongs to the streets. We just saw the finest man. Let me show you. Okay, so we saw these floaties and we thought of a good pickup line, but we lost him. So we're gonna find him. Okay, we found him. Excuse me? Um, I just thought you were really cute. Are you single? I am. I want you to um, float into my life and inflate my your ego. Wow, how the fuck did you come up with that one? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I saw this floaty and I thought you were cute, so I was just... Yeah, do you, do you want to float into my life? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, man, I feel like I uh, recognize you from somewhere. I mean, we're in LA, so it's like a small place, but... Are you from here originally? Um, no, I'm not from here. Oh my god, I know what it is. What? You do those Jackpot World videos, don't you? Oh my god, oh. no! Jesus. No, you recognize me for the Jackpot World videos. Oh, oh God. God. Um. Okay. Well, maybe we could talk more about those videos since you're interested over, uh, over lunch or by a poolside. Yeah, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I don't really want to be another one of those guys. Rejected. Most self-centered, idiotic person I have ever fucking met. You fuck my ex, and you're fucking crying? Are you fucking kidding me? Hey yo, what the fuck? T20 World Cup is fast approaching. How do you think England are going to do? I think they're going to do really well. They've got a really well balanced team. Um, they've got every base covered really. Uh, they've got some 
proper explosive opening batters in uh, Salt and Hales. Um, you know, you've got your brilliant finishers in, um, you know, Butler. And then you've got your, your out and out strike bowler. You've got, uh, you know, Mark Wood looks to be back on form and bowling, you know, speed of light again. And then you've got your left armers. You know, that might be the X factor. Not many teams have, you know, if you count Tamal Mills, who's in the travelling sort of reserves, you've got four left armors, and that could just be, you know, um, that X factor because most teams will have maybe one, if 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 one at all. So left arm just gives that different angle, that different dynamic, and um, you know, it, it could it could be the. We must stay focused. Make more than a doctor, and I capitalize off of men. You guys are my biggest fans, even if you're haters. I made over four hundred thousand dollars last year, and it is all because of you. So you guys want to keep clowning on sex work? Keep it up, because if you guys just came together as a whole, as men, we wouldn't be in business. We are profiting off of you. Uh, Thank you. Keep subscribing to our OnlyFans. Keep talking shit about sex workers, because we are making so much more money and i'm about to be out fucking a million this Aye. year so keep it up facts are facts unfortunately and as long as sims keep subscribing to their only fans and finding their lifestyle the plague continues excuse me what up dog oh i was just about to ask you for your name but i ain't know you had a boyfriend that's your what that's my best friend pipes it I ain't, ain't even, she said you're her best friend, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't worried about you. I said, what y'all got going on? That nigga about to do something. How you know I was gonna ask for your number? How you know I was gonna ask for your number? What? Dumbass. Chilling. What the f car was that? <laughs> she belongs to the streets.